Hey guys, this is Gavin at Tap Performance. Today we're gonna to be doing a product unboxing, install, and overview on the Feeling Vented Dipstick. We're gonna be installing this product on our 2019 Harley Davidson Street Glide. The purpose of this install for us is to hopefully reduce some crank pressure blow-by. If you're seeing a bunch of blow-by coming out of the filter and um, breather bolts, you should probably look a little bit deeper into that. There may be some more underlying issues. We barely have any seepage coming out, but this is one of the products that we did want to install. And we do have a lot of uh, ride time on this 19 Street Glide. We use it a lot for test and tune in-house, and it sees a lot of high RPM dyno runs. So we're hoping to just maybe take a little bit of stress out of the motor by installing this product. So. Let's hop on over to the bench and see what we need to get started. All right, guys, this is the box that we had received from Fueling. This should have our vented dipstick in it. Once again, this is for the M8 baggers. So let's just pop this thing open and see what they sent us. All right, guys, after opening the box, first couple things we see here is gonna be the instruction sheets showing the instructions as well as the contents that should be in the package. We'll just set that over here for now. Looks like nicely wrapped feeling also sent us the anodized black vented dipstick. We'll just set that over here for now. And last but not least, it looks like this is gonna be the remainder of our hardware as well as the tube and vents for the project. Just wanted to show you guys everything that is in the kit fully laid out. So I did take apart the dipstick completely, starting from the bottom to the top. And you can see that that is empty with the hole on the bottom for the vents. We are gonna put some Loctite thread sealer on this thread right here. They also give us two zip ties for the hose if we're gonna be running it under the frame. A little bit of Loctite in the kit as well so we don't have to go buy some. They give us two set screws, I assume, just because they're so tiny. If you lose one, at least you have an extra. We have two different vent styles right here. One vent is gonna be for the hose if you're gonna run the external breather there. This is also an external breather, but it's not gonna have as much bulkiness coming out of the top of the cap. It's just a breather with a screen right there. So no hose, no nipple, nothing else. And then a Allen wrench for the set screws as well. Before we hop over to the bike, I just want to show you guys how to fully reassemble this dipstick. That way, if you do take it apart yourself or you come across needing to rebuild this dipstick, you can use this video as a reference in the future. The order of the dipstick is gonna go spacer, screen, spacer, screen, filter element, and then the umbrella valve with that metal spacer there as well. So let's just grab the dipstick and start assembling it. So we're just gonna start with that first spacer. It's gonna fit perfectly in there. Just drop there to the bottom. We are gonna grab our small screen and do the same. Next, we're gonna do that second spacer. They are identical, so you can't put one in either way. It's gonna go in correctly regardless. Then we're gonna do that second screen, which is the big one, and it is gonna fill that full gap there. We're gonna put the filter elements in there. And then that last umbrella valve, we're just gonna be sure to get that nipple right in the center of the filter element there. This next step is pretty important just so we can make sure to get a pretty good seal on this vented dipstick. We're gonna be using some of that provided Loctite 545 on these upper threads here. This is gonna make sure that the threads and the cap are sealed together without any leaks. That way the filter and vented dipstick can do its job. Now that we have a nice coating of Loctite only on those threads, we can go ahead and grab our black anodized fueling cap and screw that on there until it seats down there nice and snug. 
After we've snugged the cap up, we are gonna go ahead and put our set screw in that small hole right there. So they did provide us with an Allen and two set screws. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that placed in there until it is snug. Don't wanna over tighten it to damage any threads or anything like that, but definitely make sure she is snug and seated in there. Once we have our set screw nice and snug there, it's time to decide what fitting we are going to want to use for this dipstick. Do we want to use the vented porous filter that just sticks up a little bit over the dipstick itself? Or do we want to go to the hose and vent it under the frame using that nipple and the quick detach there? We've opted to do the nipple, the hose, and the filter elements zip tied under the frame this is what feeling recommends to do but i will say it's nice that they give you the option for this other element as well if you don't like the bulkiness of that hose coming off your dipstick once we've decided what fitting we're going to use for the vent dipstick we're going to go ahead and apply some of that 545 loctite to the threads once again this is just so we can get a really good seal and let the vented dipstick do its job correctly don't need to get too excessive with that just a little little bit will go a long way. We are going to get this threaded in there. One thing I wanted to point out about this is that it will not bottom out the nut to the cap and you don't want to get it too snug or go too far. So once you get it tightened down, it should look like that. And we just want to be sure that it is not too tight. So it's not pushing down on that umbrella valve that we went over earlier. So here's our 2019 Harley Davidson Street Glide that we're doing that feeling vented dipstick on. You can see right now it's still on the dyno. The only thing we're gonna have to do to get this prepped and ready to run the hose is get the seat off and then get the side cover off as well. So I'm gonna start by getting that seat pulled off real quick and then we will move on to routing the hose. There is a recommended routing path that Feeling does give an image on, and it looks like they want us to come straight up from the dipstick through here into the battery box area, loop it back around, come back down this part of the frame, and then once we get there, we should be able to mount it under the frame more towards the front of the bike. Once we have that breather hose routed, we can come to the stock OEM oil dipstick and we are just gonna unscrew that and pull it out and replace it with the new fueling one. And we just want to make sure that we get this over that nipple on the vented dipstick just so we have a good seal. Now I'll show you where I routed that breather to the bottom of the frame. Just want to show you guys the setup on the bottom of the bike so you know how to route the breather. It goes along that bottom frame rail and it is going to be on the exhaust side. And I did zip tie that next to the frame and not on the bottom just so if you were ever to run something over it doesn't get snagged on it 
Just a warning or a heads up that might keep you from some headache. When we did route that hose on the back side of this frame here, I did zip tie it in multiple places to keep it away from the heat of the exhaust and off any of the pipes that it might have, might have touched. So just a heads up, if you wanna route it that way, you definitely can, just be careful of the exhaust. overview and install of the fueling vented dipstick for the Harley Davidson M8s. As you can see we did do a few dyno runs and pulls. I would say about 10 to 15 from 2000 RPM all the way to 6000. We did check afterwards just to make sure the filter wasn't wet or there wasn't oil leaking out of any of the lines or those threads that we used the Loctite thread sealer on and everything looks like it's still working as it should. Overall, I think this was a good product to add to the 19, just to hopefully eliminate any of that blow by. We know a lot of our tab performance customers are on the Harley Davidson M8 platform. So we made this video to potentially help you guys down the road. If it helped you or you liked the video, comment down below. Thank you.